Combustible dust is a serious workplace hazard across the country. 
Maintenance personnel removed a trench cover above the area of the suspected leak. As the cover was wrenched upward, metal sparks ignited the hydrogen, causing a powerful explosion. Hydrogen continued to leak from piping, fueling a jet fire. The force of the explosion lofted large quantities of iron dust that had accumulated on rafters and overhead surfaces. Falling clouds of dust ignited as they contacted the flames below. Visibility was reduced by the large quantity of dust in the air. One eyewitness reported that even with a flashlight, he could only see three to four feet ahead as he tried to escape. Five workers, including the operator standing by the trench and four of the mechanics, were injured. Chopping, drying, and blowing the dry chips through the transfer piping created highly combustible aluminum dust, which flowed through ducting to a steel drop box outside the building, where large particles were trapped. The air then entered a dust collector, which removed finer aluminum particles. Over time, aluminum dust accumulated inside ducts. In addition, there were leaks in the piping used to transfer aluminum chips, which caused dust to build up on surfaces throughout the furnace area. Aluminum dust landed on beams, ledges, and equipment. In some places, the dust was several inches deep. On the night of October 29th, about 10 minutes after workers started the aluminum chip melting process, aluminum dust inside the dust collector was suddenly ignited, perhaps by a metal ember or impact spark, resulting in a large explosion. The blast propagated back through the duct into the steel drop box, blowing it apart. The fireball and pressure wave continued back through the duct system into the building gaining intensity as the accumulated aluminum dust ignited. The violent disturbance shook loose dust that had built up on external surfaces. At about 8.30 p.m., plant mechanic Sean Boone was one of several workers in the area of the furnace. Without warning, a fireball erupted from the furnace, engulfing the area and igniting airborne dust in a second, larger explosion. Industries at risk include food production, metal processing, wood products, chemical manufacturing, rubber and plastics, and coal-fired power plants.